Hi, I'm Rhi from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of our smart home and how we've set it up with Alexa to kind of automate some things in our lives, make some things easier, make things that we are able to control from Sorry, our phone. I'm not sure. Now, the reason I'm going to stop saying the A word is because that'll keep happening. Every time I say, then she's gonna respond. So for the rest of this video, every time I say the A word in order to get my smart devices to function in order to demonstrate for the video, I will bleep it out. So if you have any of those in your home, it's not constantly going off and driving you insane for the duration of the video. I hope you'll pick up some tips in this video for how you can automate your own home and make your own lives easier and more organized. And please do let me know in the comments if there are any good the hacks that you use that I should know about because I would love to learn about those so please do comment below and let me know. Before we head around the house and take a little look I just want to say if you're new here welcome please subscribe hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of organization content, lots of vlogs, speed cleans, hauls, that kind of thing. I hope you will love it all. Now let's go and take a look at the setup we have around the house. We're going to start off in our bedroom with some very basic things that we've got set up. Now we don't have actual smart devices. Things like these are absolutely normal lamps. What we actually use are smart plugs. I will link the ones that we've got below. We pretty much have all of the same smart plugs. I've just bought multiples of the same thing. By using a smart plug it turns a normal device into a smart device by making it connect to the Wi-Fi and to your smart device. In our case, we use an. Setting up the plugs is really easy. You just follow the wizard on your phone, connect it to your smart home. You can use the main app, but the one I find easiest is this smart home app just for turning devices on and off and creating routines and automations. So I can say, turn Ree's bedside light on and it comes on or I could flick it on and off using my phone. The other thing that I can do is opt for it to stay on for a certain amount of time. I want that to go off in an hour for example or I can choose to set it up on a schedule. Now we don't have a schedule in our bedroom for the lights. We have got bedside lights either side of the bed but we have got schedules around the rest of the house and I'll let you know about those. The next thing I probably should talk about and should have started with is this which is our a word echo dot. Now we've got one of these in our bedroom. We've got one at the bottom of the stairs, I'll show you. One of them in the kitchen, hidden above the fridge, out of the way. I like these because they're still quite powerful speakers, but they are really small and discreet and they don't take over the room. They're not too overpowering. We have also got a taller one. I think it's called an echo something else. I'll put the thing on screen and that is outside in my husband's shed. So you can listen to music out there, but there are also a few things that we can do to communicate room to room, which I shall get to. Anyway, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is my wax melt burner. I only recently discovered wax melts. I've always loved candles, but obviously with having small children, they can be a little bit of a fire hazard and most wax burners have the candle underneath. Now this one is quite simply a bulb. So it only heats the wax up as hot as a bulb. Now if I say, Alexa, turn bedroom wax melt on. Now is probably a good time to look at some of our automations. I have the bedroom wax melt scheduled to go on at quarter to seven every morning. So this is around the time, well probably just before my husband is due to wake up. So that wakes him up quite quietly and gently. I come back up from the office to get ready. So by the time I come up at seven, the wax is smelling nice and the room is smelling nice for everyone to get ready in the mornings. One of the best uses of Alexa in the bedroom, I would have to say, is with my dressing table. So I have got a lot of my plugs and things plugged into this one multi-plug and this multi-plug is plugged into a smart socket. So the four things on this multi-plug are the two sets of lights, and then under here, I have my hairdryer 
and I have my hair straighteners. So when the smart plug is off, I cannot turn my straighteners on. And more to the point, I cannot leave them on because have you ever had that, oh, did I leave my straighteners on? Did I leave the iron on? Panic. Well, with this, you can check because you can go on the app on your phone. So when I say, Alexa, turn dressing table on, you can see that now my straighteners are on, so I know that that is on. If these lights are on, my straighteners, which could actually be turned off on here as well. I do try and belt and braces, turn them off on there before I put them away. But I know if the lights are on, it is possible my straighteners are left on. If, however, I'm thinking, oh, did I turn my straighteners off? I can just, from my phone, dressing table, off. And then you know the straighteners cannot be left on. Now, one thing I have set up which is really good is a routine called good night. And I've set this for when I say good night, then all of these devices go off in one go. So you can see if I say Alexa, good night. Nighty night. And everything goes off other than the girls' night lights, which stay on at night anyway. As a little aside, I have got this hair tool organiser, which I love. It just keeps my dressing table a bit clearer. And this was recommended to me in the comments of one of my videos after we moved in. And I just love it. So I will link that below. So that's our room. We've got the two bedside lights, the wax melt, which is on an automation for the morning. And I tend to turn on from my phone shortly before we come up for bed and the dressing table. Moving into the girlies' bedrooms, Bella's lights, as you can see, are still on because they were not set to go off. Gosh, Bella's room does need a little bit of a tidy up, doesn't it? Never mind, let's just ignore the mess. Anyway, these lights are strip lights that my husband has put all around the room. They are on a smart plug, so I can say, let's see if she can hear me from here. Alexa, turn Bella's lights off. You will notice that the same lights are around Zara's room and they are in Will's room as well. They're plugged in to one of these smart sockets which you can manually press on and off, like so, or you can use the app. Now the other thing you can do with these lights, which I shall link below, you can change the colour of the lights using this little remote. You can actually have them set to dim or get brighter they can flash the children like having disco parties all sorts of wild things we can go on different strobing craziness or just yikes how do you make it stop smooth fade there we go that's better they smoothly go from one color to another so those are kind of dim lights zara, the girls don't like sleeping in total darkness zara also has this flower light from ikea which is a little bit brighter so sometimes she's a bit scared even with the dim little lights around the skirting boards she needs a little bit more light so she's got this flower light so we've got that one which is alexa turn zara's flower light off now, Will has actually got the same lights around his skirting board. We haven't put his on a switch. He's that little bit older and we don't have our teenagers' lights on smart switches either because they are old enough to just turn them on and off by themselves. William's actually made himself a little reading den under there, which is what all the blankets and things are about. Heading downstairs. Now, these are kind of cool. Alexa, turn stairs light on. Now these aren't actually green lights, they're just white lights, but the way the glass is cut makes it look kind of green. But this is just enough nice lighting in the evening so you don't fall down the stairs. We have got our second Echo Dot here by the front door. Now we only got this one when we got our ring doorbell. The ring doorbell allows you to talk to people by the front door 
even if you're not at home through the app on your phone. You can see from the app that it records when a person is detected by the front door. You can go back and use this as a security system if you subscribe. Now we haven't bothered subscribing to that because we've got separate CCTV cameras anyway, so we didn't really feel the need to do that as well. But you can have this as your alarm system for your house should you so wish. Now the ring doorbell in order to make it ring a noise in the house as opposed to just on your phone required something called a chime which worked out as about £30 and this Echo Dot was also £30 so I figured that this was a better investment than the chime because at least it can do different things like talk to different rooms and things which I shall talk about in a second, some of the other uses we use for these other than lighting. One of the ways that we use our in our home is to make announcements. So for example, I would say, Alexa, make an announcement. What's the announcement? Dinner's ready. Announcing. Dinner's ready. And that will go off on all of the echoes all over our house. So that's upstairs, in our bedroom, here by the front door where most people can hear it, and as well as in the kitchen and out in my husband's shed. Moving through into my office. So this is my office wax melt. This has only just gone off. It's supposed to be on at the moment while my daughter's in school because I'm supposed to be working. But obviously I asked the A word to say goodnight, which meant she turned it off. Now I've got my office wax melt scheduled to go on whenever I'm supposed to be working and off when I'm supposed to leave the office. So it goes on at five in the morning when I get up. So it smells nice by the time I come down about 10 past five. It goes off at seven. The fact that that clicks off reminds me I need to go upstairs and go and get dressed. Then it comes on at nine, which is when I'm on my way back from the school run and off again at 11 when I need to think about going to get Zara. Then it comes on again at 12.30, just as Zara's going down for her nap and off again at two. So I work during that period as well. So this works as a nice little reminder of what I should be doing and also makes my work environment smell nice. Over here, I've got my office desk on a smart plug, which is my desk light. Heading into our living room, which is waiting for sofas. If you saw my sofa shopping vlog, you will know all about that. Make sure you are subscribed, by the way, for lots of home renovation stuff, because not only the sofas, but the extension is happening. And there's all the vlogs. If you're into a bit of home renovation stuff, we've got a lot of that on the way. Anyway, back to smart home. We've got Alexa, turn kitchen lights on. So those lights run above the cabinets, under the cabinets, and along the floor. And in the evenings, that's enough kind of ambient lighting to fill in here as well, just while we're watching TV. And also that will sort of spill out into the extension when that is a thing in existence. I've also got this one in the corner, which is Alexa, turn lounge light on. So this literally just lights up the corner. It's not much light at all, but I do not like and let me know if you're the same, a lot of really harsh lighting in the evenings because it interferes with your sleep. I have actually got a blog post I've written about how to get more sleep and be able to fall asleep sooner and avoid insomnia and things. And a lot of it is to do with light. So um, I shall link that if you want to have a little read about why that is a real thing and the science behind that. Now I've actually got this light set up on an automation. This light goes off at 10 p.m. on a school night or a work night to just gently remind me that actually I've got to get up in early in the morning and if that's gone off, I should probably go to bed. And then it goes off at midnight on the weekends just in case we've forgotten to turn it off or to, for, again, for me to be reminded gently to perhaps go to bed because the children will be up early the following morning as they always are. Now, if you don't have an in earshot of where you are in your home you can of course use your phone so all you do is either tap or say and you can talk to her and indeed the rest of your devices so a good way to do this is you can use it to drop in and have a conversation to any of the other devices in your home to avoid having to shout room to room so we've already done make an announcement which is for things like 
dinners here or whatever but maybe you want to ask someone a question you can talk to them through your so if i say alexa drop into bedroom echo dot it literally phones my bedroom echo dot now there is no one in my bedroom to talk to you can hear it ringing upstairs uh you can actually hello hello you can sort of hear it upstairs echoing hello i am now talking to nobody in my bedroom i don't know if you can hear that echoing i can hear that echoing from here but i found that quite a helpful way to talk to other family members in different parts of the house without having to scream at the top of my lungs i've even done it from when i've not been in the house wanting to talk to someone in the house so if we've been at the park with the children and i wanted to say something to my husband or someone that is back at home you can do that using the alexa drop in now since we don't have a home phone plugged in because in the last house we had a home phone plugged in and quite frankly the only people that ever phoned it were people trying to sell us things so we haven't bothered having a home phone plugged in in this house but we can use drop in to talk to people in the house should we so wish you can use your device to make phone calls to mobile and landline numbers so other than automations there are quite a few things we use our for some of these things are quite practical and helpful and others are just kind of for fun for example alexa tell me a joke knock knock who's there wonder wonder who wonder no more it's me. That was pretty bad. You can say, Alexa, flip a coin. Flipping. It's tails. There we go. That saves you actually having to find coins if that's something you really need to be able to do to make a decision. As a Libra, unable to make decisions, that could be quite handy for me. You can say, Alexa, set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Or you could say, Alexa, in two minutes, Remind me to finish filming this video. Okay, I'll remind you in two minutes. You can say, Alexa, add chocolate to my shopping list. Chocolate added to your shopping list. Now what you'll find when you go into your app is that all of these things that you're telling your to do will end up in your app. Now if I go into my shopping list, so if I was in a shop and I actually want to go into my shopping list, I could see what I've added to my shopping list from my phone, which can be really handy. You can say, Alexa, play music. Oh, that's my play timer. Your most played songs. To keep things fresh, keep telling me what you like. Alexa, stop before this video gets demonetized. You can tell to play all manner of songs. There is a certain amount of music that comes free. There is a certain amount of music you can have if you are a Prime member. And then there is an Amazon Music subscription, which you can get unlimited music. I will put all the links to those bits and pieces below. I believe there are free trials that you can check out as well. So all of that is below if you fancy having a look. Here's your reminder. Finish filming this video. Thank you. I use for playing my Audible books. I find that as a really busy mum, the only way I can digest books is not by sitting and reading them because by the time I sit down in the evening, my brain is totally fried. But I do listen to a lot of audiobooks. I used to listen to a lot of audiobooks in the car when I was driving back and forth school. Now I can listen to them if I'm cleaning or walking back and forth the school. I have my Audible books saved on my phone and when I ask to play Audible, then she will pick up where I left off from my book on my phone, which is great. I'm sure we are only scratching the surface of what can do, but we are finding that it's helping to kind of make things run more smoothly and keep things automated at home for us as a busy family. I would love to know how you use yours, if you just use it for really basic things, if there's anything really obvious that we should be using it for that we're not, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. My latest video is just over here, and there's another video you may enjoy from my channel down here. See you guys soon. Bye.